Okay, hey y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Gina of Gina Renee Iron Budgets. Okay, I got a grocery haul. Once a month, we do what I call a monthly stock up haul. And I pretty much try to like stock up on all my canned goods, stuff like that. I may get like bulk shop for meats, things of that nature. So that's what I have today. Unfortunately, I have one more store to go to, but I can't go till Friday because you know me and my savings and this store, Mariano's, you get four times fuel points on Friday. So you guys might get another grocery haul once I go there. But for today, we got Walmart and Jewel. So subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bell. So you don't miss when I upload. I say, I think I did pretty good saving. I'll get into all that in the video, but let's see what I got. Okay, so here's a little shot of what we gotta go through today. I'm only gonna say the prices if I remember. Otherwise, I'll try to put them on the screen. But I hope I remember as much as I can because it's a pain in the neck to put them prices on the screen, sis, okay? So I started off at Jewel. That's a store. I don't know where there's other Jewel Oscos at, but they're here in Illinois, in Chicago. So I started there. I usually get some pretty good deals there. It's Albertsons, I guess, is the owners. So I know I know some people like... I got a friend in Vegas. I think she's in Vegas and they have an Albertsons. But anyway, let's get started. So this big thing of French bread is they bake it fresh every day. It was $1.99. Then I got these little assorted bagels. Look how big this one is at the bottom. Uh, only $1.99 for four, all right? Don't want to get too many because they're fresh. So they'll go bad fast. The Intamin's Donuts. This is Kevin's weakness. And they were buy one, get one free. Thank God, because they're always expensive. I want to say they're like five or six bucks a package. All right. And then these are for Kevin. I think they were $1.25. But we get these because they've been titrating his diabetes medicine. And he's been dropping low. So we have to have something on hand that he can grab that's sweet to bring his sugar up quick. All right, and this Pepperidge Farm honey white bread, so good, on sale for $3.99. Then the, I'm trying to see how many pounds is this. Three pound rolls of ground beef. It was $9.98, but as you can see, it was, let me get one that's not, up, they both upside down. 50% off manager special, so I got those for five bucks each. Yeah, you know I was geeked about that. Even though I really don't like 73%, but I'll use it for like chili or something like that. I just know I have to use more than what it calls for because it shrink down so much. All right? That's a little tip for you. All right? Don't be fooled. You can use this, but it's going to shrink. <laughs> so you probably have to use more, like maybe 50% more. All right? So the Eckridge smoked sausages were on sale for $2.99. Liverwurst, me and Kevin got this liver sausage, whatever you want to call it. But we got that um, two for six. Then they had the boneless, skinless chicken breasts. They were $1.99 a pound. This package was $6.53. Crocus ham, another Chicago thing. Uh, very good. Not a lot of fat in it. That's why I like it. $5.99 for this one pound package. Then the 85% lean ground beef was on sale, $4.99 a pound. So uh, you see the difference. So you better work with that 73% if you can. Uh, tomatoes on the vine, $1.99 a pound. But I don't even think these three weighed a pound. Um, shallots were $0.69. Cent. Oh, I'm doing good with the prices. Hold on. Zucchinis, I got my list. Zucchinis were $0.69 cent a pound. These two together were not a pound, so I think it was like 50-something cent. The cantaloupe was $1.99 for one, so I don't like them, but I got them for Kevin. The gold, the baby gold potatoes, you can see they're the small ones. These make some good mashed potatoes. 
but um, they were $1.99 for a three pound bag. The, how do you say that? Danju pears. How much were the pears? It's a three pound bag for $1.99. Then these pub burgers, right? Each burger is a half a pound and they were $1.99 each. So four of them cost $7.96. These Lunchables, also for Kevin, I try to make sure I get him the one without the cookie or the candy bar in it. So these were $1.25 each. So I got him one, two, three, four, five. Back here, this is my dad. He's brand loyal. You better not bring any other breakfast sausage in this house. They were on sale for $3.99, but I had a coupon in my U deals for $3.49 a piece, I think. So that was a good deal. Um, this Bona, this is also Chicago. Uh, I got these meatballs and marinara sauce because Kevin got a meatball sandwich from Potbelly's the other day and he was disappointed. So I'm going to make him one with this. These were only 39 cents each. I keep that quick for like when my grandson and stuff comes over. The Campbell's soup, I think was $1.49 each. I got four. I think I got two New England clam chowder. I got a chicken and dumplings and a chicken pot pie. The open pit, that's another Chicago thing. <laughs> open pit barbecue sauce was 99 cents each. The Lucerne cheeses were two for five. And I really would have waited, but I need it for a recipe for today. And I'm not going to my other store till tomorrow. I got these egg rolls from the deli. They were a dollar each. I think that's it from Jewel. All right, so I got all of this. So just in case it cut off, I spent $130 at Jewel. On to Walmart. All right, Walmart is my stock up store today. So as you can see, I capitalized on the canned goods, but we'll get to that. So I got Memphis food. It's a 16 count, so it lasts him a little over two weeks. I got our favorite refried beans. They're so easy and so delicious, and they cost $1.28 a package, but my dad, like, really loves these. So, I got four of those. I got a 40-pack of water. I think they're always, like, 538, something like that. This is my favorite go-to breading for when I fry chicken hooters. It's usually, like, 238. If I'm wrong, I'll change it on the screen. So, I got some white corn tortillas for... What I'm making today, I'm making Mexican lasagna. And so I layer it with, I like it with the corn tortillas. I got some containers because I send my cousin food all the time. Those are high, 372. Then my son is addicted to these. So I got him 10 of those. I think they're like 70 cent, somewhere in that range. All right, let's tackle these canned goods. I don't know how much they all were. So these, I'll go ahead and edit and put the prices. But I got six canned corn. I got two cream corn. I got two Italian cut green beans. And I got two spinach. Then I got four sweet peas, three tomato paste, six cream of chicken. I got four evaporated milk. I got two Bush's baked beans. I got our big thing of minced garlic. I use that probably. <laughs> we bathe in that. And then I got Cajun seasoning, Tony's saturies. I guess that's how you say it. Don't get me all tongue twisted. Then I had to stock up on my, um, what is this called? Pasta. <laughs> I got bow tie. I got two penne. I got a rotini. I got elbows, I got a two pound thin spaghetti, I got fettuccine, and I got linguine, all right? Then I got this little, some kind of cornbread mix to go with our Mexican lasagna. That sounds good, don't it? I, we always eat cornbread with ours. Um, I got six chicken broth. Uh, I don't remember the price, but I'll put it up there. I got this big thing. Yes, I use instant rice because I can. It ain't none of your business. And then I got two family style yellow rice because we usually always have that. Whew, on Taco Tuesday. 
I got Memphis food. I checked back on my receipts and the last time I bought him this big bag of food was two months. So it lasts him like two months and then the this package here is like two weeks. Ooh, and it's high. That thing costs almost $30. Ooh. Uh, a gallon of vegetable oil was eight something. Oh, this goes to Jewel. These are my son's, one of his favorites, the Starburst strawberry flavored waters. That goes over here to Jewel. And that's it. I think I told y'all everything. All right, so we we said 130 and this was 101 at Walmart for the food. And then I spent, something is missing. I had some laundry detergent. where they put it? I bet you they dropped it off in the laundry room. But I had a big thing of Arm & Hammer Deep Clean. It was on sale for... $11.98, but it was a little $2 coupon that you scan it and they Venmo you $2 back. I think that's it. All right, so $130 and $100. So that's $230 so far. I'm going to spend probably about another $60 to $80 at Mariano's on Friday. One eternity later. Okay, guys, I'm here with part two. Luckily, I haven't even posted part one yet because I haven't had time. But this is part two of my monthly stock up haul. I went to Mariano's, that's here, and I went to Food for Less here. I waited until Friday because, like I told you guys, I will shop on the days I get extra fuel points. So after I got groceries today... I had 900 fuel points, which was 90 cent off per gallon, and I filled up my tank with like $33. Winner! So, that's the method behind my madness. All right, so let's start right here. The Little Debbie snack cakes, the Pop-Tarts, Velveeta sh uh, shells and cheese. There's a couple other items that you would get were four for $10. I got four cases of... 24 waters in the garage that was ten dollars i got butter was 249 i got it at both stores i got five butter has gotten high i can't get it less than 249 okay i got some haagen -Dazs bars and two edie's ice cream i'll show y'all there's the haagen -Dazs bars i got those and these two edie's ice cream i got cookies and cream for my son and vanilla. The bars were $2.49 and the half gallons of ice cream were $3.49. All right, and then I got Italian sausage right here was $3.99. The honey crisp three, three pound bags of apples was $2.99. The soft soap hand soaps were $1.99. The ragus, where are they? The ragu, I got one. I didn't need that much, but I got one pasta and one Alfredo. They were a dollar forty-nine each. Memphis, shut up, Memphis. Oh my God, the pork tenderloins were buy one get one free. Y'all, I'll be back. Okay, hopefully. The pork tenderloins were buy one, get one free. This one was $12. I think this one was a little bit less, so I got both of them for $12. And then the, oh, this is supposed to be, the Cheeto pretzels, that's my son's favorite, and they were $2.29, but you had to buy four packs. I'm sure he won't mind. And then I got the chicken legs. They were $5. I like these because they're small. Um, that's for me for later because I can't eat till 12 o'clock. My dad, these are his favorite coffee cakes, and he cuts them up and puts them in the freezer. And they were $3.99 each. I got these two special dark chocolates for Kevin for $1.10 each because he's diabetic and the dark chocolate is better for him. Um, the Frito-Lay boxes of chips were $8.99 each. These were two bucks. Um, the sweet and sour, I think it was like two ninety nine, and then the Taco Bell mild sauce was two seventy nine, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got this. It's a hundred and fifteen ounce Tide 
on clearance for $14.48, but I had a $3 coupon, so I got it for $11.48. That was a great deal. All right, so moving over to Food for Less. My grandson's birthday is in a week, I think. They're having a birthday party here, and my daughter asked that I would cook and so the chicken wings were $1.99 a pound. So I got five packages of those that I'm gonna cut up into party wings and make hot wings and some other stuff for the party. So this came out of a different budget. Then the 12 count large eggs were $1.99 each. I got two. And then I got five more butter. We're a butter family, okay? I know y'all see me getting butter all the time, but we can't function without butter. <laughs> Um, the Hostess cupcakes were $1.99. A five pound bag of potatoes were 99 cents. I got these two reduced for me and Kevin to have a quick dinner when my dad's not here or whatever. I got Kevin two bags of braided okra. I don't remember the price. I'll put it on the camera. The Irish Spring and the soft soap were hmm, $4.49. And then I had a coupon for $5 off of two. So that gave that made them two dollars each. So that was a good deal. The Benadryl I just needed. I had a two two dollar off one coupon, but I think they were like six something originally. And then the Febreze was three sixty nine, but I had a two dollar and thirty cent coupon off of that one. I got us some perch to fry for lunch today. I got the shaved steak was nine ninety nine for the big package. I got a package of rib tips to um, maybe go with this. I'm not sure. Then I got breaded shrimp. That's some quick lunch for Kevin. All right. So let me see my receipts. I'm trying to figure out food for less minus this. Okay. So that was like maybe $55, I'll say. I spent a hundred bucks probably. Well, minus the 50, I guess. Wait a minute. Yeah, so I spent a hundred bucks at fifty at uh, Food for Less, and at Mariano's I spent eighty five in cash. So one eighty five. That's our monthly stock up. I'm good. I honestly could not go to the grocery store except for fresh stuff for the whole month of April, and that's what I'm going to try to do. So let me get make sure I can get me a good thumbnail without Memphis in it. All right, there, and there. All right, guys, so I hope you all like this grocery haul. You all know how we are. We know that we like our grocery haul. So um, that's it for my monthly stock up haul. Let me know down below what your prices are looking like in your area, anything interesting that you saw, anything you think, what do you think was my best deal? And as always, I wish you all what? Peace. I can't do love with one hand. Love and prosperity. <laughs> Bye for now.